What's up guys? It's Jonah, and welcome back to IMO, your one-stop shop for the correct opinions on the biggest storylines in sports. Let's get it. On the docket this week, the pitch clock is here, folks, and Major League Baseball is better for it. Spring training games recently got underway down in Florida and Arizona, giving the baseball world its first look at the numerous rule changes MLB is implementing in 2023, and predictably, it was the pitch clock that had the most profound impact. For the uninitiated, pitchers now have 15 seconds to start their motion with the bases empty and 20 seconds with a runner on base. If they don't, an automatic ball is added to the count. But hitters bear some responsibility too. If they're not in the batter's box and alert to the pitcher with at least eight seconds remaining on the clock, an automatic strike is added to the count. It's a significant change, one that fundamentally alters the rhythm of the game. It also led to some awkward moments in its first big league trials. None more so than this one in a bottom of the ninth, tie game, bases loaded, two out situation. And now what? He's out. They have called strike three. Wow! <laughs> this is mayhem. Mayhem indeed. But while there may be some more growing pains as pitchers, batters, catchers, and umpires adjust to the new rule, there's no debating that the pitch clock is a net positive for baseball. It's no secret that pace of play, and by extension game time, has become a huge problem for Major League Baseball, one that the league has been trying to remedy with measures like limits on mound visits, the automatic intentional walk, and the three batter minimum. So far though, their tweaks haven't really worked. Last year, the average nine inning MLB game took three hours and three minutes to complete. In 2021, the average nine inning game lasted a record three hours, 10 minutes. And ultimately, despite all the new rules they've recently introduced to try to combat baseball's increasingly agonizing pace and length, the last time an average nine-inning MLB game took less than three hours to get through was back in 2015. However, if the ample minor league data and the early spring trials are any indication, the pitch clock is the cure-all to the pace of play and length of game issues. Get this, through the first 35 spring training games in 2023, the average game time is two hours, 38 minutes. 2.38, that's nothing. That's 20 minutes shorter than the first Lord of the Rings movie. You shall not pass! The last time an MLB season had an average nine inning game time of 2.38 or shorter, 1984. The pitch clock truly is turning back time in the best way. And I know that there are traditionalists out there who insist that part of the beauty of baseball comes from the fact that it's ungoverned by time, that it doesn't bend to the tyranny of the clock. And I appreciate that argument. There is a certain romance to the fact that going to the ballpark meant you could be there for hours on end if that's what the baseball gods decided. But while that abstract element is lost with the pitch clock, what are we really losing? We're not losing any action. They're still playing nine innings. All we're losing is the copious amounts of inaction between pitches, where batters step out of the box to adjust and then readjust their batting gloves, and the interminable stretches of between pitch meditation that high leverage relievers are prone to. See, the pitch clock doesn't really shorten the game, it expedites it, it facilitates the action. And again, if the spring results are to be trusted, it's primed to cut 20 to 30 minutes of dead time out of each game in one fell swoop. How could you possibly see that as a negative? Do you really think that Game 7 of the World Series is going to be decided by a pitch clock violation? Because it isn't. Players will adjust, just like they have to every other rule change ever introduced, and their pitch clock responsibilities will soon become second nature. And between the swifter pace and shorter game time, plus the other new rules designed to inject more action back into the game, Major League Baseball is primed to be a much more compelling product in 2023. And that's huge. It may be referred to as America's pastime, but baseball's popularity has been waning for a while now. Last year, in fact, the league drew its lowest attendance figures since 1997, not including the COVID marred 2020 and 2021 campaigns. And again, excluding the two COVID years, league-wide attendance has now dropped eight seasons in a row. Look, baseball isn't football. An MLB game isn't some grand weekly event that you orient your schedule around. They play almost every night for six months straight. 
The stakes just aren't that high for a Tuesday night game in June, and a lot of people can and have found better things to do than sit through a three and a half hour slog between the Pirates and Reds on a work night. Ultimately, in an increasingly robust entertainment landscape, baseball desperately needed to do something to make its product more engaging, and cutting out up to half an hour of dead time in each game is a terrific start. Embrace the pitch clock, folks. Baseball needed it. All right, that's it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you have takes about our takes, let us know in the comments. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button. As always, we appreciate you. We'll see you next time.